Okay, these are my beehive tops. This one here is for my nuke. You can see it's got a little vent there. They're all built pretty much the same way. I'll show you what's underneath here. So I have a vent hole in the center and two vent holes, one on each end. The shingles are made out of, uh, it's all made out of scrap lumber. lumber. That's a uh, four by four that I first cut the shape on a bandsaw and then I take my table saw and rip it into individual lengths. Then this is the next one. This one's called Castle Gar. Same, similar type of cover. This one's the Grand Hotel. This is the first one I made. It's made out of copper. Had a friend of mine that gave me a piece of copper and I shaped it, put it on the top. But they all have a vent hole in each end and that uh, center three inch vent hole underneath. This is one I just made. I was trying to make it look look like uh, a honeycomb uh, with the hexagon shape, but uh, wouldn't quite come out that way and get the rain protection I wanted. And this is another copper one that I did. Again, there's a hole in each end and a three inch hole in the center. So that's the four hives plus the nuke top. This one right here in the center is uh, used to be the nuke. Two weeks ago, uh, I call it nuke one. I transferred it from a nuke into a full box. And then most of them were full. So I went ahead and put supers on them. Um, they had about one or two frames left in the top box. But they've been so busy lately, I didn't want them to run out of room and get honey bound. So I put a super on each one. So that's my hive tops.